Um, good evening. Um, my name is Leslie Loring, and um, I've been uh, someone who's worked in public health for the last 40 years. And uh, with these last 40 years, there have been quite a number of controversial issues that I've dealt with. I was president of the National Family Planning and Reproductive Health Association in D.C. I chaired the Mass Family Planning Association and also was the founder of HIV Project ABLE, which is the statewide organization that dealt with the issues of AIDS from the beginning of the epidemic. And over the last weeks, I've sat at many of the meetings and been quite impressed with the number of um, pieces of Brookline that have needed to look at the issue of medical marijuana. But it's actually been quite saddened to me because it feels like this is the next public health battle. And it's so troublesome to me that there are so many patients right now who really need this medication. And what we're arguing about tonight are traffic, um, yeah. traffic. <laughs> and we know uh, from traffic studies that NETA has done that the parking that the Brookline Bank has should be adequate for the number of patients who will be coming and also those that will be using public transportation. Um, this really does so much remind me of the people who right now are trying to use photo IDs for voting to so-called help people with voting. I feel the same with those who have told us over and over again that they are supportive of medical marijuana and are finding every way for a progressive community like Brookline to close its door to the next important public health um, opportunity for clients who otherwise will need to use heavy medication. So I also feel that the doctors who have been courageous enough already to um, write letters so that individuals can be eligible for medical marijuana are those who will be our heroes in the future in the same way that those that would write prescriptions for women who were not yet married to get birth control. So I do believe that the arc of history is really with this new medical treatment. And I so very much hope that you as the select people for Brookline will stand in front of the line and be the kind of community that you have been in the past for reproductive health. I've left the organization that I founded in Western Mass and ran for the last 40 years with reproductive health and AIDS so that what I could do is spend this last chapter of my life working on this. And I very much hope that both in Northampton and Brookline, what we will have are model facilities. So in the same way that you are proud to be close to NGH and others, that you'll be proud to have NETA within your borders. Thank you. Thank you.